Hello friends, welcome back to Nanotech. Today's topic is, Nanomaterials Impact on Antibiotic Resistance. Start with introduction, we know that, antibiotics are medicines that are used to treat and prevent bacterial illnesses. They work by killing bacteria that can lead to illness and disease. What is antibiotic resistance? Antibiotic resistance is currently one of the most significant challenges to world health, food security, and development. Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites evolve over time and lose their ability to respond to antibiotics, making infections more difficult to cure and raising the risk of disease transmission, severe illness, and death. Antibiotics and other antimicrobial medications become ineffective, as a result of drug resistance, and illnesses become more difficult or impossible to treat. This can impact anyone, regardless of age or location. Antibiotic resistance occurs naturally, but human and animal overuse of antibiotics hastens the process. As medicines become less efficient, a growing range of infections, such as pneumonia, TB, gonorrhea, and salmonellosis, are becoming more difficult to cure. As the results in longer hospital stays, higher medical costs, and higher mortality rates. How do bacteria develop antibiotic resistance? Antibiotics are medicines that attack germs. Germs, on the other hand, fight back and develop new methods to survive. Bacteria use instructions provided by their DNA to generate resistance mechanisms. Resistance genes are frequently found on plasmids, which are tiny bits of DNA that transmit genetic instructions from one germ to the next. This means that some bacteria can pass on their DNA to other bacteria, causing them to become resistant. How Antibiotic Resistance Spread Antibiotic resistance spreads genetically through bacteria populations both vertically, when new generations inherit antibiotic resistance genes, and horizontally, when bacteria share or exchange genetic material with other bacteria. Horizontal gene transfer can even occur between bacterial species that are genetically unrelated. Antibiotic resistance spreads. In the environment as bacteria move from place to place, bacteria can travel by air, water, and wind. People can spread resistant bacteria to others by coughing or coming into contact with unwashed hands. Nanomaterials have major potential for treating antibiotic resistance bacterial infections. Antibiotics modes of action are most likely predetermined and unchanging, hence their potency varies. When faced with an unbalanced evolution of bacteria and antibiotics, scientists turn to nanomaterials for help. These nanoscale materials permits a large number of molecules to assemble for dynamic interaction with both the host and the pathogen. Nanomaterials have been rapidly produced as freestanding nanoobjects that enable new therapies to emerge as a result of this property. Bulk materials with nano-structured surfaces have also been developed to inhibit or destroy bacteria that have become attached. Nanomaterials have the potential to reduce antibiotic use in infections caused by medical devices and implants. Nanomaterials use different strategies to fight bacterial infections. The methods classified into two groups, increasing the potency of existing antibiotics and performing wholly new bactericidal effects without the use of antibiotics. Nanomaterials are used as carriers in the first category, and their design focuses on coordinating the tempospatial release of the antibiotic payload. Nanomaterials, for example, can deliver medicines to bacteria preferentially, increasing therapeutic potency while lowering overall drug exposure. These nanomaterial-based drug carriers can bypass biological barriers and deliver antibiotics to the cytoplasm, killing germs within the cell. Furthermore, Nanomaterials have the ability to deliver several medicines and program their release profiles to block different bacterial targets. Nanomaterials confer fundamentally novel processes that kill bacteria without the use of antibiotics in the second category. Through a variety of physical and metabolic processes, these nanomaterials can cause pathogens to die. Nanomaterials can break extracellular polymeric substances using enzymes or mechanical forces in one case. To enable their bactericidal activities, nanomaterials must be able to penetrate deep into the EPS matrix, which is generally achieved by modifying nanomaterial size and surface characteristics. A group of researchers found a new mechanism to trap bacteria, 
plant leaves and insect wings have served as key sources of inspiration for anti-fouling materials. A popular strategy for repelling bacteria is to trap air through superhydrophobicity, which limits the accessible surface area for bacteria to attach to. Another strategy for killing bacteria is to stretch the bacteria by the attraction of multiple contact points, which deforms and disrupts bacterial cell walls. Another technique is to use sharp, blade-like nanostructures that puncture into the bacteria and form cell-destructive apertures when the surfaces draw the bacteria closer together. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please share with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.